This lesson is for Year 11 Triple Biology only. So hopefully in the previous les lesson, you watched the video on the sheep side dissection and you clicked on the link to um, play the video. Hopefully we will complete a sheep side dissection on our return. And I did ask, can you try and complete as much as you can of the work on pages five to eight? I'm now going to talk about different eye defects. These are summary info pages in your booklets on page nine and ten. And for the exams, you will not be required to recall eye defects, but I have included them just out of interest to explain why some people are short sighted and some are long sighted. So if we're looking at this lovely tropical beach view, this would be normal eyesight and the things that are in the distance as well as the things up close, both appear to be in focus. If you are nearsighted, close-up images like the chair seem to be in focus, but objects far away are blurry. If we look at the diagrams here, we can see that this condition is called myopia. The eyeball basically is too long relative to the focusing power of the cornea and lens. So the light rays, rays focus in front of the retina and the image is blurred. By putting on spectacles that have a concave lens, in other words, they bend in, the light rays are bent apart, so that they focus on the actual back of the retina on the screen of the eye. If you are far-sighted, objects far away seem to be in focus, so we can see the island and distance is in focus, but close-up objects like the chairs are blurry. Far-sightedness is also called hyperopia. And in this case, the eyeball seems to be too short relative to the focusing power of the cornea and lens. So the light rays would be focused beyond, behind the retina, and the image would be blurred, even though light cannot pass outside of the eyeball. By putting spectacles with a convex lens on, the light rays bend together so that they are focused on the retina. We also have astigmatism. This is a combination of both near and far sightedness, making all the objects blurry, both near and far. Astigmatism is a type of refractive error in which the eye does not focus light evenly on the retina. The result is a distorted or blurred vision at any distance. The underlying mechanism involves an irregular curvature of the cornea or abnormalities in the lens of the eye. Astigmatism glasses correct this by using an irregularly shaped lens to even out the abnormality on the eye. And different eyesight conditions allow for different types of astigmatism glasses. The cornea is the clear transparent disc at the front of the eye. This sometimes can get scratched in accidents. You can have a corneal transplant when vision is lost because the cornea has been damaged by disease or injury. Some of the conditions that might require a corneal transplant include the bulging outwards of the cornea, a malfunction of the cornea's inner layer, a painful corneal swelling or tissue growth on the cornea. And some of these conditions can cause cloudiness of the cornea and others alter its natural curvature, which can also reduce vision quality. So you can test out how good your eyesight is using this chart. So Stand yourself at different distances from the chart and see at what distances you start to not be able to tell what the letters are on the chart. So hopefully you have learned that you can recognise and label a section through the human eye. You understand the functions of each of the parts. And next lesson, we'll be going on to a new topic.